YouTube. How we feeling? How we feeling? So this video is about how I network as an introvert. As you've seen from the title, obviously. It's really three things. Three things that I would say were essential for me. I can't really say we're just are essential just in general because I don't know how everyone is, but the three things that worked for me is having a camera, providing a service, you know, like helping out in any type of way. I'm gonna go more in depth with all of these. And the last one, and I cannot stress this enough, go alone, go alone, go alone, go alone, go alone, go alone. Do not go with anyone. If you're going to an event, go alone. I'll get to that one last. In terms of me having a camera, it's like a free pass. You know, it's like a VIP pass in any event. You get to be in the front. You may get into VIP section. You know, you're gonna be taking pictures, blah, blah, blah. Everyone wants a picture. What I do, I just do them for free. Though, like, people will ask me, oh, how much for you to send me the pictures? I say, it's free. It's free. I don't, you know? And that gives you a reason to talk to people. It gives you a reason to go up to somebody. Because me, naturally, I'm not going to walk up to somebody and just start talking unless I already know them and, like, you know, we have stuff to talk about. But with people I don't know, like random people, I'm not going to go up and start talking because I'll be sitting there like, what should I say? Boom, the camera. Oh my gosh, I like your outfit. Can I get a picture of you? Or if they're like an artist performing or something, I'll say, yo, can I get a picture of you? And you know, they'll just know that, oh, I'm performing. So people want pictures, like people are gonna take pictures of me. So it's kind of like at the events that I go to, which is like music events and stuff, it's pretty normal to walk up to someone and ask to take a picture of them. So it doesn't feel awkward in any way, opposed to just walking up to somebody saying, hey, my name is blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, it's, it's kind of awkward to me. To me, it's awkward. Some people it may not be awkward to, but to me, that's very awkward. So number one is have a camera. You know, it's a conversation starter, at the least. At the least, it's a conversation starter. Provide a service. This kind of ties into the last one, but not really. Having a camera was my service and taking pictures for people for free was like my thing because one thing I don't like when I'm out at an event is just standing around doing like nothing. Like just, I mean, of course you're there to do whatever that event is for. Like if it's a music event, you're there to listen to the music. You know, like you're, you're obviously there for what the event is, but if you follow the third step which i didn't get into which is go alone you're not gonna have anyone there to talk to so you're just gonna be standing there uh, like alone and you're gonna look awkward and people aren't gonna want to come up to you if you're looking awkward you know people may say hey thanks for coming blah blah, blah. nine times out of ten people aren't gonna want to come up to you and talk to you if you're just standing there looking awkward so provide a service provide a service give yourself a purpose of being there my way of doing that was photography you know so i'm never just standing around not doing anything like just standing there looking you know i'm at a music event so i'd be like nodding my head no no no. i'm like doing something walking around taking pictures of the artists when the artists get off the stage i'll ask hey can i get a picture of you and stuff like that it gives me something to do it gives me something to do so i'm not just standing there you know because that makes you feel more awkward because then you're thinking oh my gosh i'm just standing here what should i do should i just put my face in my phone it gives you something to do it gives you a purpose to be there if you're not like a photographer or anything you can even go around doing like mini interviews to like say I'm I'm speaking more generally like on music events you could walk around and do many little interviews if you have your phone and you have a little wireless mic you can just go up and do many interviews with the artist like you can you know there are multiple ways and services you can provide so just go and provide a service see what that event may be lacking or what it may be needing and go provide that service. The first event that I started doing photography at, um, they only had one photographer, which is kind of like a little bit for music events, 
So I came there, and that photographer was only shooting videos. They weren't doing like pictures. So I came there, my main focus was the pictures. After every artist got off the stage, I said, hey, can I get a picture of you? Got invited back to the next one, which is in a couple days from recording this video, it's in a couple days. You know, so I got it invited back to the next one and there we are, you know? So I provided a service. Find out what that service can be and how, you know, find out what you're good at, what you can do, and w like what your service can be and just do it. And the third and most important thing, if you didn't get anything out of this video, this is the most important, go alone. If you do not go alone and your purpose is to network, you will get very little networking done if you are an introvert. Because you'll have a buffer. Every time you feel awkward, you'll just cuddle up next to that person, be all up with your person, you'll be attached to them and kind of have a conversation with them the whole night. You know, you may occasionally say something here and there to other people, but it won't be much. So go alone go alone that will force you to have to talk to people if you don't want to stand there and look awkward go alone and you'll be forced to talk to other people that's um i mean that's how i started even before i started doing photography at certain events i would just go alone stand in the front that's also an important thing like if it's a music event or something be in the front make sure you're seen make sure everybody sees you and of course if you're an introvert it'll be hard at first but just do it like go be alone stand in the front and just a simple thing you know just ask to follow like an artist on instagram like if someone comes off of the stage person even if they say their name on the stage say how to follow them while they're on the stage ask them anyway <laughs> ask them anyway so that you can get that personal connection with them and they'll they'll feel more appreciated after that if you go up to them and ask them you know, and also they'll see your face. And if you do have some service to provide, then you can say that to them there, or you know, you can be doing the service while you're out there. Either one works. Alone, like the first event I went to alone, I felt like I did so much more networking than I had ever done at an event. It was just good. So, go alone. Do it alone, be alone, go alone. And all of those, all the two steps before will help you to not feel alone while you're there alone. Now I go to events and I know like, you know, I'll go to no matter what event in the city I'm in, I go to like, I'll know a handful of people at the least, you know, I'll either know a handful of people there or I'll know a lot of people there because I've been going alone. I've been providing my service, which is photography. So yeah, those were my three tips to networking as an introvert. Leave in the comments if you have any more, if you agree with them, if you don't agree with them, you know, you may not agree with them. Some of them may not make sense for you, but I'm just saying that's what's worked for me so far. So that's what I'm gonna say. Thanks YouTube.